just kind of briefly talk about uh, what we're doing here. If not, then this is a recording will be available for those who want to learn about our master's program. So um, everyone, welcome. Um, it's very good to see you here for our um, presentation of our master, uh, master program. We are having some changes to the program that we plan to implement in the fall of um, this year, fall of 2020. So there are some exciting things that we'll be talking during the next um, couple of Open Doors events. And um, we will have a joint Open Doors, larger Open Doors with the master's program of um, management and analytics for business with which we offer um, we'll offer a separate track today we will briefly talk about the um, distinct specializations that we're going to offer one of them is computational social sciences and this is uh, more referred to as the phd preparation track uh, dmitry zaitz the deputy academic supervisor of this program Program will introduce it. We'll have business analytics, and that's a joint track with master's program management analytics for business in St. Petersburg School of Economics and Management. Professor Angel Barajas is with us, and he will introduce this track. The network analytic track and the online only track are not as fun because we already offer tr um, somewhat tracks in network analysis, and then online only track, of course, uh, will allow students from anywhere in the world to take any of the courses we offer without having to be physically present in the classroom. So if there is anything good that could come out of this coronavirus uh, scare for the whole world, is the fact that we know that we can handle online education. Um, not This online education is not for everyone, but in our specific program, due to its focus and our ability to administer uh, this program a specific way, we can allow um, students to have education online only. Those last two tracks we'll talk about next time. And uh, like I said, we'll have a much bigger event um, in a couple of weeks with more detailed introduction. So I want to talk briefly about the MASNA program so that we have a coherent picture about what's going on. The home to um, the Masters of Applied Statistics with Network Analysis program is the um, International Laboratory for Applied Network Research. It was founded six years ago and it is focused on all issues related to network analysis. We have worked in this field for now six years. We are well known internationally and in Russia. And it was only natural that after a couple of years of doing network research, we decided to open a master's program that popularizes and expands the field of data analytics to the um, general audience. Why I'm saying data analytics um, together with network analysis? Well, this is because um, network analysis is a part of general approach to data analysis, just one of the specific specializations. In order to be able to analyze data, you for, um, network data, you first have to know how to analyze any data. So, um, my name is Valentina Kuskova. I got my PhD and my master's in applied statistics from Indiana University. Our program is very similar to the program created from, uh, by Professor Stanley Wasserman. And currently we're being supervised by Professors Anushka Firligoy and Vladimir Betagev, both of Ljubljana University. We um, do have an integrated analytical center that uh, the ANR lab is uh, where research, education, and consulting are um, joined together, allowing us for um, an integrated approach, there is really no better word, to uh, working with all types of data, not just network data. So the research allows us to advance knowledge, create new knowledge, and create a school of network analysis. Education allows to prepare researchers who work with us in our research and also prepare analysts for business, Then, uh, which of course comes also in the form of consulting, which we do on both pro bono um, type, uh, which is the, our analytical workshop where our students offer free statistical consulting services to HSC faculty and staff and the broader community. And we do have paid projects where we do consulting work for large companies. 
we do have several official partners and um, our partnership uh, with Ljubljana is now much more than just a scientific supervision because there is a lot of mobility going back and forth. There is a lot of collaboration on a variety of projects and um, quite a few Masna professors come from, not all of them, quite a few come from uh, University of Ljubljana. We are also um, very excited to announce that we have reached an agreement for a double degree program that we will start on offering for students entering the program in the fall of 2020. Um, well, the master's program itself, um, this is an old picture now, but um, it's no less true than it has been in the past because statistics and biostatistics degrees, especially master's degrees, continue to grow rapidly. And applied statistics is really a very specific um, approach to data analysis because it allows people to use mathematical knowledge um, to solve real life problems. Now, um, the reason why the applied statistics programs are so popular is that traditional uh, mathematical statistics courses do not um, give enough of focus on applied problems. People know how to prove theorems, but they have a difficult time applying these theorems to real data analytics. So we offer the best of both worlds where we provide the theory uh, without which any um, lack of, uh, without which you can't understand the data. And then we also provide um, training in what is called the data science. I mean, it's a buzzword, it's a big buzzword because we can discuss for quite some time what is the difference between data science and applied statistics. Uh, it's not the focus of today's presentation, but sometimes um, we will talk about that. Um, we fit into the uh, part of the broader faculty's uh, commitment to data science because, of course, at the Faculty of Social Sciences at the HEC, um, there, is, uh, there are lots of research centers and labs, but then there is also an educational component where we have a data culture for the bachelor students, and then, of course, our program is the only um, data-focused uh, master's program that uh, Faculty of Social Sciences offers. Now, our graduates work as analysts in all field. They work as statistical consultants. They work as um, researchers in major consulting firms. And uh, eight students, eight graduates of our programs out of, you know, just under 40, we haven't quite graduated 40 yet, have um, already been uh, admitted to or are studying at various PhD programs throughout the world. So, um, we do have world-renowned faculty, starting with uh, Professor Wasserman. Uh, Tamas Rudas just had an excellent course for us in um, categorical data analysis. Professor Herwig Friedel is teaching as we speak right now. He is actually um, teaching a course in um, uh, multi-level modeling. So um, parallel to what is going on with our um, open doors. Of course, professors, but again, in Ferigoya, actively involved, and then some other known names, such as um, Yanis Demshar. He is big in data mining and is one of the authors of a well known uh, data mining package called Orange. Eric Strumbel is one of the well known uh, analysts in Bayesian methods. If you're working with Stan or other R packages for Bayesian analysis, check the authors. You will see that Eric Strumbel is one of them. Um, our program is two years. It's full time. It's evening. Now will also be offered online. The cost is very competitive relative to the rest of the world. Uh, the language of the program is English. We do have international students that are very diligent and do not miss classes. So we always speak English um, during our courses. So we have lots of advantages, which I'm not going to talk about a whole lot because today we actually are focused on um, the two tracks that we're going to offer. Now, our students currently we have 46. Um, some of them have graduated last year. Um, some of them, that was our first uh, graduate class. Our second year students and our first year students together. So it's the second and the third um, cohort of master students. That's 46 of them, six of them are international. And they come from the most different backgrounds you can imagine. So we do have everyone from physicians with degrees in medicine to mathematicians. Uh, with all the psychologists and sociologists and everyone else in between. Uh, 
Um, our students are very successful. Um, they take first places at Kegel competitions. They win intellectual games. They take top places at the HSC student paper competition. So we have lots of success stories which we share actively on our Facebook page and also at our standard HSC homepage um, online. There are lots of career opportunities and um, we will talk about um, students who have actually um, enrolled in PhD program a little bit later. We do offer a lot of academic mobility, not this year, even though this year we had some students admitted for academic mobility programs. Um, academic mobility did not happen, I suspect, for most of the world, unfortunately. And I think the most important part is that um, our gossip. Um, this is something that you, if you will notice is actually was posted on Facebook by one of our students um, with a global setting, so I feel free sharing it. Um, I just noticed that by accident here the student for those of you who don't speak Russian, um, it's just raving about how you know difficult it is because we had this um, data extraction and then we had Bayesian and then we had this and we had that. And of course, I commented that, well, I didn't say that it was going to be easy. I said it was going to be fun. And he said, well, I'm only happy. And then the last comment that Andre um, makes is that he's just so excited. I mean, I, I can't really translate this into English very well. Those of you who are Russian can read it. He's so excited about this program. So what we do want uh, our students to achieve is to be the best that they can be. Because it's um, no matter the program you choose, our program, something, you know, um, it's, it has to give you the sense of purpose, accomplishment, and um, the, incre the large um, opportunities for learning and growth. And our, our program is unique in many ways. Um, when we first created this program, we were saying it's the best program in Russia because it's the only one. Well, it's no longer the only one, but it's still the best program in Russia uh, because it offers several unique features that distinguish it even from similar programs in data analysis. And with that, I want to switch to um, the reasons why it's actually still a very unique program. I'm going to turn the screen over to Professor Angel Barajas. He is a full professor here at HSC. He came to us from the international market. Uh, he is uh, one of the founders of um, ID Lab, um, which now exists in two campuses in Perm and St. Petersburg, and also the academic supervisor of the master's program management and analytics for business. Together with this program, we're going to be offering a business analytics track in our MASMA program. So Professor Barajas, the screen is yours. I will list through the slides. Angel? Um, he is talking, but I can't hear him. Okay, so, okay. Um, okay well, thank you. Thank you very much for, for your kind introduction. Um, I'm very happy to, to be here uh, with the people of, of um, this Master in Applied Statistics uh, with Network Analysis. Um, and I'm very happy that they have decided uh, to launch this track in Business Analytics and to count with our master program like a partner in order to do so. Um, I would say that uh, our master is a, is a master, uh, is in master in management. I, I, I would uh, remark that um, because uh, even when it's uh, based in, in, in data analysis, but it's, it's, it's about the, the decision making process. Uh, the idea is this is something that is highly demanded by uh, the companies and for that uh, we, we saw that it was a necessity and then we, we, we designed the program in order to uh, fill this, uh, this, uh, this need from, from the companies. Uh, so again, uh, it's mastery management uh, with uh, based on analytical skills in order uh, 
Um, so in that sense, to offer uh, different courses. Uh, there are some courses that are from the first year that they can be interesting, like uh, um, uh, strategic management that is general. And, and then we have a very interesting uh, course in applied strategic management that has uh, like two, two different parts uh, that is going to, to be, uh, this is mostly practical. Is uh, by the CEO of the company. It's about how to uh, take decisions in companies. It's mostly uh, practical. Uh, it's uh, based mostly in cases. And then we have also an interesting uh, course in, in analytical tools, in which one of the things that our students they have to do is to, in order to pass this course, is to get the certificate, the Google IQ certificate and the Yandex Metrica Expert certificate. And um, so, and this is uh, something very interesting. It was a, a course that was designed by a former worker of. Uh, Google. He was working for Google in London and New York. So then he decided to come to Russia. Uh, so then in the first year, so he designed this, this course and it's, it's very interesting. And um, last year he went back. So he's French. He, he was one year in France and uh, he has come back. He has settled his own company and he's going to, to, to teach uh, this, this course again. So I think it's very interesting. He has created his own company uh, in order to de develop marketing based on these uh, kind of tools. And is asking for students that have these features. So he's going to employ some of our students. So these are like general business related courses. And then we have also, uh, the opportunity, or, or you, you, you will have the opportunity, you decide to go more to courses on human resources. That is what we call people analytic tracks or in marketing in the customer analytics tracks, track. And the specialization in people analytics, there are uh, four possible courses that um, we try to make it uh, like uh, more quantitative, as more quantitative as is possible. Uh, because, well, in, uh, regarding human beings, so then there has to be some uh, analytical tools, but then there are also in this, this kind of courses, uh, you, uh, the student will, re will receive education uh, regarding also soft skills related to, to people. But mostly is, uh, we, we try to focus on, uh, yeah, on, on managing people based on performance, based on data, trying to make it objective. Uh, we don't forget that uh, human beings cannot be just measured by figures, but uh, then there are some other things that we have to consider. I would say that this is uh, something very specific. Uh, there are very few uh, masters that offer this kind of education that is more uh, quantitative uh, on regarding to human resources. Uh, in fact, uh, so we are going to have this year a student from Sweden that when he was looking for opportunities to study, so he only found a master in, in UK that has similar features that we have. I know that in Rotterdam they, they have also. So, but this is quite, uh, quite exclusive, I would say. And then you, you can take some courses regarding to uh, customer analytics, so then mostly related with with marketing, so think, uh, mainly for consumer behavior. In consumer behavior, we have two uh, professors that are uh, from one from uh, Politecnico de Milano and the other from the University of Vigo. So then they are, uh, both of them, they are visiting professors. Uh, uh, Data marketing analytic yes in France, and he's one of the most recognized uh, uh, lecturers or uh, researchers on on this topic. And then we have also advanced marketing models and social network analysis. I, I don't know if um, in this social network analysis uh, would be uh, yeah maybe maybe you have skills 
uh, enough. Uh, yeah, maybe it's not so interesting for you. But so the, the, the idea is that we are going to offer uh, different courses that you can do, you can choose in order to to yeah to design your own uh, profile. Um, if you want to know some of the features of our students, so then we we have students. Uh, so we look for people with uh, good analytical skills. So then we are happy receiving people from engineering, from mathematics, from physics. So we have uh, students from economics and, um, and business administration. Um, but also we, we have some other students from sociology. Well, the sociology, if they come from HCC, they, they have very good also analytical skills. So, but uh, in general, so we like to have people that with uh, good analytical skills and sense for us receiving people from your master is, is very good. But I have a very good mix and we, we try to work in groups. So then even we promote the, 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 the master dissertations that are done in groups. And then we try to combine people with different skills to make this uh, richer. Um, we have a good number of, of international students. In the first year, um, we had uh, one third of students were from uh, foreign uh, countries. And last year, we have almost uh, one third. So then we have 20 students out of, well, no, the one, one fourth, 20 students out of 80. And uh, for now, so we have 22 uh, applicants uh, that they, they are enrolled from foreign countries. So then we have a very good mix of um, uh, Russian students and, and international students. And we, we have a lot of uh, in guest uh, lecturers from abroad. And we have also in St. Petersburg a good number of uh, for foreign lecturers and, and very good Russian lecturers too. Um, yeah, so I think that they are the main ideas that uh, um, thank you Angel very much um, this was a very good brief introduction I know there are lots of exciting things that happen in your program but we are going to have a more focused um, open house where we will actually talk a lot about the uh, double degree diploma you have with Barcelona and some of the world-renowned professors that offer courses in your program. Today was just a brief introduction just to show that we are going to have this track and that um, you're welcome to check it out when you have a chance. So um, the next track that I want to introduce is what we call computational social sciences track or PhD preparation track. And Dmitry Zaitsev, who has successfully defended his master's thesis today to be a proud holder of a master's in applied statistics with network analysis um, program diploma. Even though he has a PhD and a master's in all education already, he wanted to finish this program officially in order to have the credibility to administer this program to others. And he will be in charge of uh, this particular track and work a lot with uh, preparing students for our PhD program. Now, I want to say that our lab is actually quite successful. Um, the program itself and the lab all together sent eight students to uh, various programs abroad. And um, on the basis of our lab, we have five new incoming PhD students that will start at the HEC PhD program in the fall. Three of them are our program graduates. So I think that's a big accomplishment for a very small program that just developed. But with that, I'm going to turn the floor over to Dmitry Zaitsev, um, and he will talk about the computational social sciences track. Dmitry, I will also continue to flip through the slides for you because um, I don't know how to give you control of my screen. So um, please go ahead and the floor is yours. Okay, thank you very much. 
So uh, if you will show the next slide, uh, you will see that uh, the uh, most important thing that uh, we are concentrating here is to prepare students for the PhD programs. And not necessarily in HSC, but also uh, we are preparing students to enroll in the prestigious universities of United States and Europe. And we hope that very soon we'll have a, a double degree agreement with the University of Ljubljana. But even uh, now, without uh, this agreement, we can send our students, our graduates, to the University of Ljubljana. Also, thanks to the scientific supervisor of our NR lab, Anushka Firligo and Vlada Batagil. Uh, who is also welcoming students for the PhD programs. Um, and uh, the first of all, it is uh, academic track. But uh, when we start thinking about uh, more specific focus, we thought about immediately about computational social sciences. First of all, because um, this is a newly emerged field that is interdisciplinary and uh, trying to uh, integrate social sciences from the one hand, that is uh, political science, sociology, economics, psychology, public administration, public policy, and uh, others, international relations, and others related fields. And frankly speaking, uh, you can embed quite every sciences into the label social maybe accept physics and uh, chemistry, but you know that people are also speaking about the social engineering, for example, that also make uh, physicians and uh, natural sciences, or oh, we are talking about environmental sciences, so they bring also the natural science people into this endeavor as well. So, and we have computational, uh, uh, computer sciences on the other, uh, the uh, other side that uh, also is quite developing and this is a sort of mixture between two. So what we will learn? We will learn uh, this uh, fuel driven uh, and data driven things and here is very important because uh, you know that this is sort of the heart of it in theory driven and data driven approach that one said that uh, you have developed theory first and then test theory by some method. Others said that data is very important. Uh, can you please switch on and off your volume? Okay. Problems, sorry for this. Now it have to be, okay. Yeah. Is it good? I think yes. So if no, just... Yes, yes, much better. Mm -hmm. So, and we have data-driven approach. That means that the data is very important and uh, we have, first of all, collect data. We want to combine these two approaches and uh, to overcome this dichotomy, we are talking about uh, here and data-driven uh, paradigm. And we will uh, provide students the competences to combine these two things. Uh, we will learn how to systematize knowledge, conceptualize, operationalize, that is usually related to theory driven things. And we will also learn how the concrete methods we can use to test our hypothesis. And finally, the model building that is a combination of theory and data, we will uh, first of all uh, try to model complex social, maybe close to social phenomena also. Uh, and uh, you will learn methods, data analysis, advanced statistical methodology. We also will have a special maybe part of the course or the whole course uh, on academic writing and how to write papers. And the main task, one of the main tasks will be to prepare paper and submit to uh, this paper to the best journals in the field of your interest. Also, we will learn how to write the abstracts to the international conference because to become a part of the international community is a very important uh, thing for the future academicians and scholars. And uh, you will be accepted by international Also, we have uh, an, um, 
an opportunity to be employed for those especially who dream about academic career we have an um, opportunity to be employed in the uh, ANAR uh, International Network Research Lab and uh, a lot of our graduates from master program which already become a students PhD students they are working in the INR lab as well and by double PhD I also said this and I think we have some ambitions to have several agreements with several universities uh, about double double PhD so and the next slide is about our graduates and as Valentina Ripper already said we have eight success stories and we are only uh, two years master pro I mean we have only uh, two uh, how to say uh, groups of our graduates yes yeah? so we have the previous year graduation first graduation this year is only our second year graduation and eight students that was uh, uh, enrolled that enrolled into the PhD programs I think is a quite success especially if you will take into account that our master program is applied program so it, it is not purely concentrated on the uh, academic career so we'll develop as you uh, see business track as well uh, and uh, we have the uh, four of these students, the, the first slide all about them, uh, they were enrolled into the European universities, Central European University, University in Netherlands, University of Ljubljana, ah, it's, and, it's Philippe, uh, and the, the Milut, here, here is a mistake by the way, uh, uh, the last guy is, uh, student's name is Milut, and he is, was enrolled not in, into the European University, but in the New Zealand University. So we are not limited only by the Europe as a continent or United States as a continent, but also go to the Australasia continent as well. And of course, we are collaborating, closely collaborating with the PhD school uh, on sociology and four of our graduates uh, in, was enrolled uh, in the, the PhD school of our graduates and Gregory, Rostam and Palina they are also the employees of the researchers of the our lab so you can combine also and see our lab as your future career uh, place for your development of your career and still uh, as the major thing is to prepare students and maybe to develop this track when we take students from even from the bachelor uh, bachelor level then uh, supervise them through the Bachelor of Defense, enroll them to our master program, and then um, support their enrollment into the PhD program. So so-called Bachelor and Master uh, PhD programs track. Um, this is also very important. Yeah, and this uh, is the first uh, focus of this concentration this kind of supervision uh, um, and um, nurturing, if you want, nurturing of the young talents uh, from bachelor to PhD. We also want to emphasize this, this second focus uh, on computational social sciences because we think that it's very, uh, it's very uh, great emerging and new field of studies that uh, is uh, very competitive, especially for the young uh, academicians, the area that, where they can uh, successfully compete with the our other scholars and academician young, young uh, scientists, because it is not a, a surprise that uh, in the academia we have a very high competition and uh, for, especially youngsters have to um, win this, uh, this uh, competition. And we think that computational social science uh, focus will help them to win this competition. Um, this is growing uh, a field of research. Yeah, when we deal with the big data, when we have a computer science 
techniques. Uh, that is also the computational probability we know is developing a lot for recent decades. From the one hand, then we have a lot of theories that also become a very complicated because social world become very complicated and we have to match them somehow to uh, analyze these complex phenomena and complex theories using computational methods and the newly developed computer science uh, techniques. Of course, we will use uh, different programs, but here we have this Python as a sum integrator uh, between social sciences, statistics, and computer science but also we use different uh, pro programs uh, as well and softwares. So we bring together social computer scientists in order to develop and refine new methodological approach to social studies and learn to apply them into to the interdisciplinary research problems. But again, we are not limited only with the social science. Um, uh, we can quite uh, do other fields. Uh, we use classical machine learning techniques. Uh, we use predictive analytics here and the, here, for example, it's a um, uh, uh, very interesting uh, area of development because it gives us, to us uh, such thing as forecasting and prediction of future. And uh, we know from the classics that this is the main goal of the science to forecast and predict our future. And I think that uh, this time series and predictive analytics uh, also is very important to deliver for our students as a technique to develop. Of course, network analysis and neural networks, it's also connected with the prediction because they help us to predict things. And social network analysis, that is the specialization of our lab, uh, is a part of this computational social sciences. Uh, this is actually the uh, project of, of Valentina Viktorovna. Uh, I think uh, maybe she will add something, but uh, SCAN Center, that is Statistical Consulting Center, and analytical workshop that was developed uh, at the center is uh, was made um, as a continuation of the strategy that was proposed by the, our founder father of our lab, Stanley Wasserman, who developed the same thing in Indiana University of Illinois. And he had there two structures. The first is the scientific lab. The second is the master program, uh, uh, the presentation of which we have here and also the uh, commercial think tank that is working for the business and uh, earning money. And analytical workshop is the, uh, some uh, structure in this uh, scan center uh, where our students can practice uh, in business consulting, business analytics, and uh, do real commercial projects for the uh, big corporations. But first they start with the pro bono uh, projects and uh, provide uh, consultations about how to use different methods for the student, other students of the HSC and to the professors uh, and some researchers of HSC who are trying to prepare papers into the top journals in the field. And this is the team of our analytical workshop and Paulina Lushnikova, who is the leader of this workshop, um, uh, is our, he is the head of this and in charge of the, uh, they have a website, they have a form to apply. So I think uh, our prospective students can also, if they have some projects, can also apply and uh, start maybe doing something interesting. Uh, we're talking about this uh, workshop here because I think it's an important uh, practical approach to 
no matter what track you take, to any track um, that you will take in our program. Because it's one thing to learn about methods. It's one thing to apply them to projects in class and then to finish your, defend your master's thesis. It's much more important to apply your hard learned skills to as wide variety of uh, projects as possible so that you can see what is actually possible with this type of analysis. And um, analytic workshop allows for that diversity. So we have both the research oriented tasks and the practical or the consulting uh, tasks, including business analytics. So from that regard, you get the uh, broadest um, possibility of different projects that you can work uh, on while uh, being supervised by all the peers. Uh, some of our graduates work in um, this workshop, also our faculty and in our researchers. So with a lot of support from other people, you have a broad exposure to a wide variety of problems. Um, Dmitry, thank you very much. Um, I think at this point we are not going to move on to the research groups because this is a little bit outside of our time frame for our open doors. Um, I want to thank everyone for being here. And remember, we are going to have a much more exciting Open Doors event when we do it jointly with St. Petersburg Master's Program in Management and Analytics for Business. That program is in management. Our program is in statistics, even though its proper name is uh, Applied Mathematics and Informatics. So just from the title, it tells you a very different focus of the program. But jointly, we will be able to create many good things because students from St. Petersburg will also be able to take um, courses from our program and enhance the analytical skills that will go with their master's in management diploma. So um, thank you for joining us. And um, we actually very um, happy to have you here. Professor Barajas, thank you for spending time with us. We uh, will, thank you to um, you. Uh, we will be in touch and we'll work together on um, actually fully developing the business analytics track and start the advertising for both tracks in our program. And of course, uh, please continue to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, uh, TikTok, we're now in TikTok, Instagram, and whatever other networks, social networks that I forgot to mention. And also check our website for frequent updates. Uh, thank you for being here and I will stop recording at this point.